G'day, this is Captain Ubin. This is a Stalker's Lever Action Rifle with bullets exploding for area damage and 90% reduced weight major and minor legendary effects, respectively. So, the Stalker's effect is something that I haven't covered previously on the channel before, mainly because I don't think it's really that good of a prefix. I mean, if not in combat, more of that's hit accuracy at 50% AP cost is not a really good one. Especially when you've got bloodied, you've got instigating, two-shot, hell, even mutants to, you know, boost your damage ever so slightly if you're mutated, that sort of thing. So, not really keen on it, but today we'll be testing that out with um, the bullets exploding for area damage too, so at least it's got a little bit of punch to it. We all know how powerful a lever gun can be with explosive bullets, so that should be good. We should be good in terms of damage, but um, for comparison's sake, we're going to be using a bloodied explosive lever action. We've both got the long scope on both of these, so at longer ranges we'll probably see a difference between VAT's accuracy between these different weapons, so we'll see that when it gets to it. But hard receiver doing 112 damage. Let's go ahead and spec this thing up and make sure we do chuck on the rifleman perks this time and not the commando perks, because yeah, I made sure I triggered people last time when I did that. And of course it's an explosive weapon and um... We want to boost that explosive damage, so Demo Expert goes on, and instead of Node Rage, we just swapped it out for three ranks of Gunsmith, so the gun will be a little bit more longer-lasting as we fire it, and of course, Bloody Mess goes on, critical savvy for spamming those criticals, because if we're going to have VATS accuracy, we might as well spec into using those VATS-centric perks, and as you can tell, 226 damage with both of these, so yeah, pretty damn good start. Alrighty, so here we are outside of West Tech, and there's a bit of range between us and the Super Mutants. I don't usually put on a long scope, but as you can tell, I've got a really good vantage point from up here. Those Doggo are already dead, so that's kind of annoying, but regardless of that, we'll check this thing out in VAT. So we get, uh, let's see on that target over there, we'll switch to him, and we get, let's say... 37% chance to hit on the head from there, and again, that's with the Stalkers switching over to the Bloodied one, and I really should have stripped the paint on this so I can tell at a glance what these are. 17, switching over to Stalkers, 35. Alright, so it's a little bit better, but let's see what the VATS usage is per shot when it comes to using this thing in VATS. Eh, it's not too bad. You can live with it. You know, for a long scoped weapon, that's actually not terrible. And obviously, concentrated fire is going to help us out a little bit. And I do say a little bit because it took four shots to actually nail that guy. So, you know, also I'm missing out on damage. For those of you who are asking how I got the 3.7 times sneak attack criticals, equip, equip uh, Mr. Sandman first, then covert operative after that, and watch the slaps to clarity and sue. We can actually get the hits. See, the problem with using VATS at this range is it's not even that accurate, and enemies tend to go behind stuff, so, you know. So we get, like, 5% chance to hit that guy from here. That's a negligible difference there. Okay, looks like we might have to go a little bit closer to see that benefit in, which is kind of strange, because this thing is already pretty bad. Ooh, okay, hang on. Let's take notice of how close we need to be to get that 100%. We'll use that as a gauge to figure out whether this thing can actually be viable. So, I'm spamming one. Alright, so... About there-ish, apparently. Switching over to the bloodied. Okay, he's he's gone over here. Let me just move in front of you. Alright, I'm going to need to target who's standing still. Hopefully, he'll stand still in a second. And, okay, so a 57% chance here. Hmm... I'm not, I'm not really sure whether this thing is working or not, to be honest. And apparently they've just gotten bored too, so... Yeah, it doesn't look like that the Stalker's effect is actually that good, and, you know, I'm not really surprised by that, by the way. It's just what it is. And I see a couple of, um... Uh... Neutral dots there, so there might be other players around, so I better pick up the pace here. No use looking at the adrenaline damage of this, because, um, we've only got two or three ranks of that. You know, I could have switched to the bloody one and you'd never friggin' know, would ya? They're both the same looking. I really should have stripped the paint. Next time I go to Weapons Workbench, I'll strip the paint. Alright, so we've only got one Super Mutant over here, and we are out of action points. Let me just get those back and we can scope into this guy see what's what. Alright, this turret, that's not going to move. We'll see what's happening with this. So, barrel was 96% for a second. We're on a shitty angle here. Oh, he's, he's facing away from us. The motors. Okay. 
That seems to be a universally easy to hit target. That's better. Okay, we're still getting 95% chance over here. Apart from when we're half blocked by it. But switching over to the bloodied now, and it's kind of the same accuracy. So honestly, I feel like it's kind of negligible. And switching over to the bloodied just to take shots at it. As you can tell, the AP usage per shot is a lot less. Meaning we'll be able to get a lot more shots on. And if the uh, accuracy is the same... Uh, what'll happen is Concentrated Fire will have more time to gain that accuracy, so yeah, I'm thinking that Stalkers is particularly pointless. Even more so pointless on melee weapons because, and, oh yeah, for some reason, this legendary prefix does spawn on melee weapons, which means, you know, um, there's no accuracy when it comes to melee weapons. You get into a certain range of punch. Now, the way I think they should fix this is make Stalkers work differently on melee weapons, have it like melee and blitz in Fallout 4. Have it so you can actually take those punches from further away back. You can teleport forward a little bit more, maybe 100% um, more of the distance for more of the AP usage. Wham! You've fixed Stalkers and actually made it pretty good. Thank you, Bethesda. You may send me your paychecks. <laughs> Alright, so let's go for speed this time, shall we? And I think at this range we'll be seeing a little bit more of the benefit, and yes, I am using the Stalkers one to um, these guys, because it's within a reasonable range here. See, a coin flip's chance to hit him at the head there is pretty good. We got a 60% chance before Bats decided to fucking shit itself there. All of the doggos are dead, which means it's going to be a lot easier to not get spotted. And, okay, we're out of action points already, so it's a little bit on the short-lived side here. And there we go, we've actually managed to take ourselves out a little bit with explosive damage there. That's okay, because uh, what that'll mean is we get some adrenal reaction damage on top of that. So that's pretty good, I guess. So for a good nothing prefix, I suppose, is right. I've also got the true barrel and true stock on like usual. So honestly, no reason to really use vats in here, especially when you're that damn accurate. As I completely missed the shot. But you know what I mean, look at the tightness of the... Uh, the, uh, the crosshairs there. There, the crosshairs. That works. And you'll see that there's no real reason, reason to use vats or a scope in here. Bad example, but as you can tell, with this thing, using it as a stealthy way, you can actually do pretty good with this thing. And the main thing is, um, it's the build doing that, not the weapon itself. If I had no perk to boost my sneak chance or to boost my damage with rifles or to make sure that I gain extra damage from sneak attack criticals with suppressed weapons, yeah, it would not be going near as well. So it's a weapon that's powerful enough to stand on its own, but obviously with better legendary effects on it, you can really push it super far. It's certainly a weapon of mediocreness. That's a word compared to something like a bloodied explosive, but it's certainly doing the job and we can't fault it for that. It's just going to be an easy cruisy run through here doing some stealth rifleman things. And I'm pretty sure the doggo is dead here. We'll just quickly sprint around. Yeah, I changed the uh, attire because I was wearing the thing I had in that first clip yesterday. So, you know, to change it up a bit, we'll switch up the, we'll switch up the uh, outfit. So, laying waste to these super mutants is rather easy. The good old sneak attack multipliers of almost four times doing us very well here um only problem with this is the ammo capacity which is it's um it's been fixed since i've decided that you know loading one bullet in this thing actually loads up with one extra bullet in the chamber so you only have to reload as many shots as you've actually expended from your weapon which is some much much needed improvements if only they were so diligent in fixing other weapons like they fixed a lever gun I wonder if it's the same bloke who does the um, weapons patches, because I remember there was one patch where they completely fixed all of the uh, rotary barrel heavy guns, like the minigun and gatling plasma, and actually made them good. And I like that patch. That was a good patch. Right, let's, let's get more like them, eh? And now we're in danger. We might as well just spam a critical there. I did not mean to look up that super mutant's cloth there, but there you go. That's what super mutant ball sack looks like. Get the fuck out of here, mate. Obviously, Speed Demon is going to make this reloading time a lot faster. You know what? Enough time of sneaking around. We can probably just one-shot all these guys. Not quite one-shot them, but, you know. Okay, we are in caution again because Escape Artist. That works. Oh, saw one up there. Take him out. For those quick VAT shots where you don't have 100% right away, I guess it's more reliable than that, but... 
honestly, would you rather have a little bit more VATS accuracy within a certain distance, or would you rather have enhanced damage with some of the other prefixes? And that's kind of the crux of this entire demonstration here. You can still do well with it, but if it was something like a Stalker's, let's say, uh, Western Revolver, we'd be struggling a lot more than we are now. All right, that's this place cleared out. We can move on to something else, I suppose. Alrighty, so there's a wanted guy here, so I am obliged to go and kick his ass, and we'll see what weapon he's using. Am I hearing a Tesla rifle? No, okay, it's just a Tesla rifle from the Robo Brain. That's something I can deal with. Excuse me, lad, I've got someone to kill, and you are dead. This is why I don't do PvP, because. Yeah, one shot. Yeah, I get he was level 38, but I hope he got a junk build, because I want this shit. Yes, give me all of that. Oh, he's got a couple of bulk things too. Well, if you didn't want to lose this stuff, you shouldn't have gone griefing, kiddo. You know, some high level play will pinch all your stuff, and I have no, I have no quarter about that. I don't give a fuck. Alright, let's see if we can't stir some trouble up with the ghoulies. Alright, they're here. Good stuff. And instead of running this entirely fully stealthy... Ooh, yes, free bullets for me. I'm going to try this without sneaking, so we'll see how that goes. As a reflex, I might happen to um, just activate my sneak bonuses. Die, you bastard. Because that's kind of just how I play. I've been playing Fallout 4 like that for a long time before I even got to Fallout 76, and there we go, I've just wrecked myself. <laughs> yeah. See, this is what happens when um, I don't bother sneaking, it throws me off. We don't have Born Survivor either, I don't think, so we're not going to be using stim packs when we should. Maybe I should switch up my perks to actually do that. Oh good, there's a fucking pile of goo here, and a couple, even more. Okay, that's kind of annoyed me now, but whatever. I mean, you can get annoyed at Bethesda all you want, but they're not going to do anything about it anytime soon with the patch just dropped. So, my only other response is to get angry at other players, which obviously, it's not, it's not good. It's not, a, it's not a good habit to have, just being annoyed at any other sing, every other single player on the map, but, you know. Also, you'll notice how the lighting is a little bit weird in here. Also, that ghoul just fucking died. I guess there's some infighting going on. That guy's like, no, bro, we should have spec to sleep at this time. But everyone's like, no, we can't do that. We must put the bugs behind us. And they, and they fought him and killed him. There's a nice two-star dude giving us a one-star thing. Thank you very much for your generosity. But I think you get the idea of this. It's, it's an okay crowd control weapon. We've seen the crowd control potential of a lever gun before. It's not great. If you're sneaking, though, it is fine because you'll never get yourself into a you know, a situation where you're being run at by hundreds of ghouls, and I'm actually noticing how much the toll of the, um, the long scope as well as the Stalker's Legendary Effect has on my AP bar. I'm, all, I'm running out of AP a lot faster than usual, so, you know, it's a really hard price, a high price to pay for a little bit more accuracy that I could probably get out of a bloodied one, but, you know, for demonstration purposes, that's what it's like, and it's shit. Who would have thought? Now, I did have unyielding armor to boost my perception and therefore, you know, give me even more um, that accuracy. But there we go. We've got a nice sitting target here. It's a fairly large target, so it should be easy to hit, but it looks like we've got double the VAT accuracy. I'm going to see whether that 95 threshold adds or gets to for here. So, ooh, that's 95 for this thing. We'll make sure we step outside of the bush there. That bush is annoying me. Fuck you, President Bush. You've ruined my accuracy, just like you've ruined the fucking towers, you bastard. And now if we go in nice and close with this, yeah, you can see there, that's a definitely a better a, um, a better way of showing you that. Why would I even bother on regular Super Mutants when I know this one's going to sit still? So about here is where you get the um, bats accuracy, which... Doesn't seem like a lot, to be honest, especially since our scope can go in this far. So, I don't feel like there's a lot of reason to ever use the Stalker's Effect if you've got a long-ass scope like this. Sure, you can't get criticals like that unless you're using something like Overdrive, but... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they could buff it a little bit, because there's just no reason on using it at all. It's a slight bonus for, I don't know, let's say... 
10 or so meters. Who's That's negligible. Who cares about that shit? If it was 100 meters back and still 95% hit chance, now that's that's something you ought to look at right there. That's something that could be viable. Oh, my Battlefield 4 sniper sense is kicking in. What I must do is sit on the rooftop and camp all match. That still annoyed me back in the day. I remember that shit. Ah, times were a lot simpler back then. We are worried about how other idiots play the game rather than the idiots making the game and doing dumb shit. Alright, plasma grenades are on. Um, apparently the Mylurks haven't bothered to really show up or really put up a fight. A little bit of panic fire by that Mylurk King there hits the mark, but not enough. Not at Nerd Rage threshold anymore, boy. So, I think the only reason this thing can stand up is just because it's on a lever action rifle, which is, you know, without any legendary effects, it'd still be a nice weapon to use. Still a good rifleman ballistic weapon that, you know, in fact, it's kind of the best rifleman ballistic weapon in the game. So, you know, um, the stalker's effect really isn't doing all that much. It's just a lever gun that's uh, pulling the weight here. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Hope you enjoyed them. Ooh, here's a nice challenge for Stalker's Legendary Effect, the Commie Bots. The reason why everybody who hasn't played past level 20 fucking hates VAT in Fallout 76. And for good reason, because as you can tell right there, I'm targeting the head. This thing's main torso, its main frame, is its head. And put that against some level 2 players, or yeah, level 2 players with some pipe guns with short barrels. The answer is nothing will... They they can't hit him. There's like 20% chance to hit at most, and they're going to be wasting so many bullets to get there, unless they've specced into concentrated fire right away, and I'm actually out of action points there. That's a shame. What do you do, eh? But at least we've got a, a semi-decent chance to hit. Obviously, it's obscured by the ground there, which was throwing bats a little bit off, but... Yeah, even all the way over here, we ha we've got a coin flips chance to hit, which is honestly not reliable enough. Sure, switching over to the bloodied one. 75. Okay, it feels like it's the same there. Weird. Alright, I'm going to step back a little bit. This is the Stalker's one, just so you know. Let me just get you and Vats. Let's see. So, 42% switching over. Weird, it's the same for those things. Like the Super Mutants as well. I felt like it was the same for them at range. There was negligible difference. But apparently the combo bots fucked with the Stalkers thing too. Unless we were not in combat. That might have been the thing. Because by combat it might actually mean um, whether we're in caution. Because I guess it's technically combat. You know, I would have thought combat would have been in danger. So that's probably why. Maybe I should actually pay attention to what the legendary effect says, but at least we got to show it off with Swan, right? And that little bit where the super mutants sort of got bored of me and, you know, left me alone. But, yeah, that's about it for the commie bots. We've, okay, we've pulled one more. He's inside the train carriage, is he? Well, let's chop him up. Man, I should have bought my Liberty Prime Power Armor, eh? Alright, couple of Scorch Beast kills and we'll call it a video, I think. Alright, so this is where I think Stalkers will actually start making use out of itself, because... Oh, okay, in hidden now. Looks like we're getting better accuracy. Heaps better accuracy. So apparently it's only like the first one shot or something, but... We'll see how reliable we can hit a Scorch Beast, because when they're flying around, you've usually got like 14 to 20% chance to hit. But if we can get that a little bit higher, I feel like we'll be doing okay. One of these shots will bloody hit. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, it does all right there. The fact that you can't make it work in caution, though, is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Like, even with a suppressor, it keeps the um, it keeps the stealth criticals going, but not the regular old criticals, so... Okay, here again, we'll just uh, wait for our AP to regenerate before we take a look in the perks. So, about a 50% chance to hit, switching over to bloodied. So, as you can tell, it's kind of the same at this point. So, Stalkers, at this point in combat, is dead weight. And when you've, again, when you've got a sniper rifle with a scope that can do this, that we can view in much further than we could possibly get. Wow, it's hard to track when it's got a long scope, that's for sure. 
This is why I never use them. You don't need you don't need to fucking tell the colors of the eyeballs when you point a gun at them. You just need to go in the general direction. Or maybe that's just me lacking to be in closer ranges so I've got less of a chance to miss. Ha! <laughs> Probably. But like I said before, the stalker's effect is really being carried here when it's actually working by the lever gun itself. It's still a solid weapon on in and of itself, but the stalker's effect really isn't doing a whole lot. So, there you have it, the Stalker's Explosive Wayless Legendary Hunting Rap Hunting Rifle. No, Lever Gun, Lever Action Rifle. It's been okay to use. Um, if you'd like to see this in your game, hit me up if you'd like to see this particular rifle. Maybe you haven't got a solid explosive one yet, you want something just to start you off. I'll let this one go for free, or maybe some caps. If you've got a Radium Rifle, two or three Radium Rifles, I'll trade it over for you for free, but if you've got some... Crappy legendaries that you don't want, give me a look and maybe we can get a trade happening. I'm not asking for much, just something interesting for the channel. Thank you very much for watching, guys.